Hello and welcome to Country Mama Musings. We are here today to work on block number 17 for our heirloom Afghan crochet along. Today is the cluster square. So with color B, let's go ahead and get started. For me, color B is gray. Whatever you've designated as color B, go ahead and grab that and make a slip knot. And we're going to go ahead and get that on our size H crochet hook. We're going to start with chaining 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12. Now we're not going to be working in these chains, so it's, not, it's okay if you have them a little tight. We're going to go ahead and we're going to slip stitch into our very first chain to form a rather large ring larger than any of the rings we've made in the past. And we're going to be working in this ring that we've created by placing that slip stitch in our first chain. So let's go ahead and get started with round one. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet now and throughout the rest of our block that we'll be working on. We're going to go ahead and complete three more double crochet. And as you crochet, you can crochet over your tail if you'd like. So here's one, two, and three. So in essence, we have four double crochet because our chain three counts as our first double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Now into our ring, we're going to work the cluster that will be worked throughout our cluster square. So for our cluster, we're going to yarn over and go into our ring and grab our yarn and pull it back through so that we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through just two. We're going to complete this six times. There's two times three times, four times, and <laughs> you need room for this, five times, and six times. You will have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to yarn over and pull through six of those loops. Do not pull through all seven, just six. Then yarn over and pull through the final two. And this will create this nice little cluster. Now it doesn't look like a cluster at the moment, but once we work our next few stitches, it's going to kind of pull it down so it pops a little bit. So into our ring now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to double crochet four more times. So here's one, two, three, and four. Now you can't even see the cluster, can you? It's because for me it's poking out the back, so just kind of give it a nice little pop there. You'll see it now, how it makes this really pretty cluster. We've double crocheted four more times. We're going to work our second cluster into the ring. <clears throat> Remember, we're going to do this six times. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have seven loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through six of them. Not all of them. Make sure you leave that last one on there. And yarn over and pull through two. And that's going to give us our second cluster in our ring. We're going to do this two more times. Double crochet four, do another cluster. Double crochet four, do another cluster and I will meet you when we get right here where we will join round one. Here we are on our last cluster for round one. I have the seven loops on my hook. 
I'm going to yarn over and pull through six of those loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two and that makes the last cluster for our round one here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join to our chain three here. I'm going to count up one, two, three and slip stitch into that stitch right there. Pull that through and pull that through again and that will make our round one. Now like I said you can't see the clusters popping. Now if you want to you can grab your chain and just give it a little tug. We'll bring in that last round a little bit and then you can just push your clusters through. Push them from the other side, give them a little pinch so that they're a little bit more prominent. They'll become prominent as we work our block, but this is just so that you can see where they are. And so let's lay this down here. Let me take my hook out <clears throat> and let's take a look at our round one. We have four clusters and then we have four groupings of four double crochet in between our clusters. And so I know it kind of looks a little funky doodle now, but as this block comes together, this will look very lovely. We pulled on the wrong one. Let me pull on that tail just a little bit more here. We'll tighten that up a little bit. I, like I said, it leaves a pretty big hole in the center here. Let's get our yarn back on our hook and let's continue on with round two. For round two, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Three, and we're going to double crochet in this very same space that we joined in right here. So it will look like you have two double crochet in the same spot there. Then we're going to double crochet in the next three double crochets here. One, two, three. And then in our next spot here, we're going to do two double crochets, one and two. Then we will chain one. So across this side of our square of our block, we're going to have seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a chain one. Turn your work a little bit here. We're going to go to our very first spot where we can work, and that's really actually the top of this cluster, and we're going to place two double crochet, one and two. We're going to place a double crochet in each of the next three double crochets, so here's one, two, and three. Then in our next spot here, in our next stitch here, we're going to place two double crochet, one and two, and chain one. So across this side of our block now, <clears throat> so across this side of our block now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochet and then a chain one, and the chain one's gonna create our corner. You can see our corner here now. It's very, very detailed. So we've already got our chain one. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my work a little bit, so I'm working across this side here. I'm gonna to go to my very first stitch availability, which is right here, and do two double crochet. one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. Two double crochet in the next stitch available. So here's one and two, and our chain one for our corner. You're gonna continue that for your fourth side in your first stitch here, two double crochet, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, two double crochet and chain one. I will meet up with you at the chain one so we can join our round. I've just finished our last double crochet. We're going to chain one. 
and we're going to go to our original chain three that counted as our first double crochet and we're going to count up one two three and place a slip stitch right there and that will close our round and I'm going to go ahead and take my hook out and let's lay this down and take a look at what our block is looking like our chain ones made our corners so you can see them here and our clusters should kind of align with our corners as well and again as we start working our block <clears throat> excuse me you can kind of pinch those clusters they'll start coming together and they'll start being more prominent let's move on to round three placing our yarn back on our hook we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain three one two three remember that counts as a double crochet we're going to double crochet in the same stitch where we joined so that we in essence have two double crochet in that space right there and then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch as well there we go we're going to work a cluster in our next available stitch so remember it's yarn over into our stitch grabbing our yarn and pulling it through yarn over pull through two we're going to do that six times pull through two pull through two pull through two pull through two, pull through two. one more time and pull through two and we should have seven loops on our hook here one two three four five six seven we're going to yarn over and pull through six of those loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two that makes our cluster make sure you push it over a little bit so you can find your very next stitch because in your very next stitch we're placing a double crochet there we go and then in our very next stitch we're working the cluster again so work our cluster there's one two three four five oh, and six <laughs> it's tight sometimes we have seven loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through six of them not all of them and then yarn over and pull through the final two locating our very next stitch if you have to push that cluster over a little bit to find it you do that double crochet in that next stitch and then in our very last stitch here we're going to go ahead and place two double crochet one and two so as we look at the first part of our row here or our round we have one two three double crochets then a cluster then a double crochet separating them and then a cluster and then one two three double crochets we're at our corner now and we're not going to chain one we're going to chain two skipping over our chain one we're going to do exactly what we did over here on this side we're going to go to our very first available stitch after we skip our chain one and we're going to place two double crochet there's one and two we're going to place a double crochet in the very next stitch so that we have three before we start our clusters in the very next stitch we're going to place a cluster so let's do this six times again there's one two three four five and six you're taking up a lot of real estate and this is a yarn hog but if you're if you're careful you can work it in there just know that this block takes a lot of yarn we have seven loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and go through six of them and then yarn over and go through the last two locating our very next stitch we're going to create a double crochet right there and in the very next stitch work a cluster again 
So yarn over, pull through, and go through two loops six times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six in that tiny little space. We have seven loops on our hook. We'll yarn over, pull through six, and then yarn over and pull through the final two. Pushing that over and giving ourselves plenty of room, here's our next stitch. We're going to place a double crochet. And then in the next stitch, two double crochet. So here's one and two. And as you work it, I want you to notice you can't see the clusters very well. They've popped out the other side. So just push them through with your finger so that they pop through where they're supposed to be. So here we have the first side of our round, the second side of our round. We're going to go ahead and create our corner by chaining two. And we're going to repeat what we did on this second side. We're going to repeat it for the third side and then the fourth side. I will meet up with you and we will join our round together. So complete side three and side four and I'll meet up with you over here. I'm here at the end of our round. I'm going to chain two for our corner. And here is our chain three that we did that is our first double crochet. I'm going to count up one, two, three, and place my hook there for a slip stitch to close our round. And there we go. And let's go ahead and look at our block now. So here's our corner and a corner. I have a cluster here. I'm just going to make sure that that pops through and pinch it a little bit. Pop through to that front and pinch that a little bit. Same with these here. They just need a little bit of forming. And here's our corner with our chain two that we just did. We have a chain two here for our corner and I'm going to go ahead and just pinch our little cluster there. We have a corner here and then our clusters here. So for this round, round one, two, three, we're going to make sure that we have two clusters on each side. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double crochet on each side and then chain twos in our corner, okay? So make sure that you've got that. If you find that your count is off, because I've had this happen, if you find that you get to the end of one of the sides and you don't have a place to put your two double crochet, go back and make sure that you went in the very next stitch after the cluster. Sometimes it's hidden under the cluster and you miss it and then your count is off. So just double check it at the end of every round. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put my hook back on here and we're going to go ahead and start with our next round, which is round four. We're in this slip stitch spot right here. We're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to double crochet in the very same stitch. So that as we've been showing in this uh, block, we're always going to have two double crochet at the beginning of a side and two double crochet at the end of the side. We're going to go ahead and double crochet all the way across in every stitch. So here in our very next double crochet, we're going to place a double crochet here in our very next double crochet. In our next stitch here, it's a little bit elongated just because of how that cluster is, but we're going to go ahead and place a double crochet in there. In our next stitch right here, we're placing a double crochet. Right here in our next stitch. Here in our next stitch. And here in our next stitch. And we're, we're here to the end. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in our last stitch here, we're going to place two double crochet. One and two. So we will have 11 double crochet across this row. And look at how my cluster popped back out to the back. Come back out here to the front where you belong, little cluster. <laughs> Don't be difficult. We're going to chain two for our corner. 
We're going to skip over this chain and skip over this chain and go right here to this stitch, which is our first double crochet. And we're going to do two double crochet. Again, working across our double crochets and our clusters, we're going to just place a double crochet in every stitch across until we get to our very last stitch. Working in the top of our clusters and in the top of our double crochets. And here I am to the end. I like to double check and make sure that I have the correct number of double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to place two double crochet here in this very last stitch. One and two. We're going to chain two for our corner. And we're going to work the same amount of stitches across this side chain two for our corner, and the same amount of stitches across our final side. And I will meet up with you right here so we can join our round. I'll see you there. I've just completed my final double crochet of this round. I'm going to chain two, so we have that for our corner. I'm going to our original chain up three that was our first double crochet of this round, and I'm going to go up one, two, three, go into that chain right there, and close this round with a slip stitch. So let's go ahead and take a look now at how our square is coming together. Kind of make our corners pop a little bit here with this entire round of double crochets. And then we've got our clusters here. Let's move on to round one, two, three, four. Let's move on to round five. Getting our hook back with our yarn here. We're going to go ahead and start round five with chain three, which is once again a double crochet. And we're going to place another double crochet in that very same spot where we joined. Remember, we're starting every round with two double crochet. It's a little bit of a tight fit there. There we go. Now we're going to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So place a double crochet in the top of this stitch here and a double crochet in the very next stitch there. Now then, in our very next stitch, we're going to create a cluster. So right here, just as before for our cluster, we're gonna yarn over and go into that stitch, grabbing our yarn and pulling it through yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do that six times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have seven loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through six of them and then yarn over and pull through the last two. And there's our first cluster made. Now just as before, we're gonna to go to the very next stitch. Make sure that that cluster is not blocking your vision of where that next stitch is, and complete a double crochet. We're gonna to go to the very next stitch and complete another cluster. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over and pull through six, and then yarn over, pull through two. Locating your very next stitch, complete a double crochet. In your very next stitch, we're gonna complete another cluster. This will be the third cluster on this side for this round. So yarn over and pull through two, six times. Whoops, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Yarn over and pull through six loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two. Finding our very next available stitch, we're going to go ahead and place a double crochet. And we're going to place a double crochet in the next stitch. Our very last stitch here, we're placing two double crochet. One and two. So let's take a look at this round here, side one of it. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochet per side plus three clusters. So keep that in mind as you count every time you complete a side. I suggest that you count. Make sure that you have all of your stitches. We're here to the corner now, and now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Going to skip this chain and this chain. We're skipping our chain two on our corner, and we're going right over here to this stitch, our first double crochet. We're completing two double crochet. One and two. We're completing a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So here's a double crochet, and here's our second double crochet, so that we have four on the end. Just like what we have four here, we're going to have four here. Going to our very next stitch, we're going to complete a cluster. One, two, three, four, five, six. It always amazes me how I have just enough room. We have seven loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through six of them, and then yarn over and pull through the final two. Making sure we locate our very next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet. And in our next stitch, we're going to complete another cluster. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over and pull through six loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Locating our very next stitch, we're placing a double crochet in that stitch. And then in our very next stitch, we're placing another cluster, our third cluster of this side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over, pull through six loops, whoops, haha, <laughs> and yarn over, pull through two. In our very next stitch, we're placing a double crochet, and in our very next stitch, a double crochet, and in our last stitch on this side, two double crochet, one and two. So let's take a look here real quick. Here our clusters have popped out to that side. There's our corner, and you can see it almost like a spider web. Our, our corners are getting wider. I think that's a very pretty effect. We have our four double crochet, cluster, double crochet, cluster, double crochet, cluster, and four double crochet. To make this corner now, we're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. I want you to go ahead and complete side three your corner and side four, and I'll meet up with you over here and we will join our round. I will see you there. Okay, I've just completed my final double crochet of this round. I'm going to go ahead and chain three to create our corner. I'm going to go over here to our original chain three that created our first double crochet and count up one, two, three, and place a slip stitch right there in that stitch, a little tight. But that will complete 
Oh goodness, that was really tight. That will complete this round. So let me go ahead and take my hook out. Let's see what we've got here. Again, you can see how our corners are starting to widen up a little bit. I think it's so pretty. I've pushed through my clusters, given them a little pinch. They are little boogers, aren't they? And so you can see here in our center, we have one, then we have two, then we have three. Even though these line up, it's not a perfect little pyramid, but we have two clusters on this round and three clusters on this round. So that's the end of round one, two, three, four, and five. This block has seven rounds plus the edging, so we're not quite done yet. Placing our hook back onto our yarn here, or placing our yarn back onto our hook, let's go ahead and move on to round six. Round six is not going to be like anything we've done here for our block so far. We're not going to be doing any more double crochets. We're not going to be doing any more clusters. This was your very last cluster that you worked. We're going to be working with single crochets now. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to single crochet in the very same stitch where we joined right here. And again, it's a little bit of a tight fit, so you might have to finagle that a little bit. There we go. Single crochet right there. We're going to single crochet in every stitch across. We're going to place a single crochet in every stitch across until we get here to the end. And we will have 13 single crochet for each side across here. So here's one. We're not going to double up anything in the corners anymore. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 13 nice, even single crochet stitches across. And here we are in our corner. And in our corner, we're going to place five single crochet over these chain three right here. So one, two, three, four, and five single crochet in our corner space, in that chain space there. Working across this side of our block, we're going to go ahead and place 13 single crochet. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. In our chain space here for our corner, we're going to place five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. So I want you to do 13 single crochet across on this side, five single crochet in your corner, 13 double crochet across this side and then five in the corner and I'll meet up with you right here when we're ready to join our round. I'll see you there. Okay I've just completed the five single crochet in my very last corner here and we're going to join not where that chain is in the very first single crochet. Make sure you go through both the front loop and the back loop and, and join, join with a slip stitch and let's take a look at round six. We have our clusters and our corners all filled in now with our single crochets. And we're going to do one more round of single crochet before we do our edging. Okay, we're going to place round seven with a bunch more single crochets, but pay close attention because this pattern kind of throws a little hitch in our giddy up here. 
we're not going to go into the very same stitch where we joined as we have in prior rounds. Instead, we're going to go to the very next stitch and place a single crochet and then all the way across 14 more times so that we have a total of 15 single crochet counting this first one. So let's count those over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And this takes us right to the very edge of our corner. In our very next stitch right here in this corner, we're going to place three single crochet. One, two, and three. And that's going to bring us around to working on the next side. It helps us form our corner. Now, I don't want you to think that you have to do 15 across here. That's not what the count is going to be. Instead, we're going to do 17 single crochet across and then three in the next. So let's count out those 17 together until we get to the next corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And right here in this very next stitch, three single crochet. One, two, and three. Now this block, as you can see, it may need to actually be uh, blocked. When you're done with this, you might have to give it a little bit of help uh, with its final shape. Now, I want you to go ahead and place 17 across to this corner and then three in the corner. 17 across to this corner and three in the corner and I will meet up with you there because we've got a little bit more to do before we join this round. So I will see you here. Okay, I'm here to my final corner. I'm going to place three single crochet in the corner. And remember we started way over here so we have two single crochet here that need a single crochet. So here's one and two. And we're going to find our very first single crochet and we're just going to go ahead and just slip stitch into that. And that completes our block. Let's take a look at it here. Now like I said you may need to go ahead and just spritz this and uh, shape it, block it a little bit. But don't finish off here. Don't finish off your yarn because now you're going to go ahead and work your edging. I will place a link uh, in the description box below and also I'll put an I card up above where you can go to complete your edging. You're going to have two rows of edging and then um, your block will be ready to put onto your afghan. You're going to do one round of edging in your color B here and then you're going to do an edge of uh, and then you're going to do a row of edging with the color A. So go ahead and complete your edging and you'll be ready to put this block aside for your afghan when we put it all together. Now one thing you want to do is make sure that you get yourself a nice little tag that you can attach so you know what block this is. This is block 17, the cluster square. Go ahead and write on there what this is, attach it, 
and add this to the rest of your blocks that you've completed so far for this beautiful heirloom afghan. Thank you so much for joining me here at Country Mama Musings. I will see you for block 18. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.